to cover or not to cover. And in this case, because there's many definitions, definitions of cover, I'm talking about keeping a certain vowel at a certain point closed or closer to a higher tongue vowel or leaving it open. Basically, are we leaving this note open or are we leaving this note closed? We're not talking about or referring to or whether or not it happens is a uh, product of whichever choice we may choose. Let's see, can I still be seen here? Who knows? We're gonna go for, we're not gonna talk about the, the tilt of the larynx or the not tilt of the larynx. We're just gonna talk about the aesthetics of this note. So, this note is gonna be an E flat. We go like a toothless claw stagger, like an organ grinder's bear. The chorus goes like a knight without his armor, like Samson without his hair. So the word is hair, but the vowel, if you want it to have this big grand open effect, is gonna have to be E. Eh. You can't sing hey, maybe you can sing hey, we're gonna find out. But if you sing here, like Samson without his here, then it's gonna sound, it will sound good and uniform, but it might just not sound as exciting. So really magic is gonna be in finding the difference between, or uh, walking the fine line between closed or close enough to a higher tongue vowel and still giving the effect of that openness. Oh. Like a toothless, clawless tiger, like an organ grinder's bear. Like a man without. Like Samson without his hair. So that. I would say before we listen back to my analysis, before I listen back and make my analysis, I'm just gonna do this all the way through. Moving, uh, you know, each subsequent attempt is gonna be informed by the one before it. So right there, I like how open that feels. <laughs> it's tempting at first to, to let it be, you know, all stuck and fat and choked off in the back. So I'm thinking, I'm just imagining that sound almost like rolling forward a little bit and just ringing right here behind the nose in the mask. Mask is not a destination, it's just a byproduct. My opinion. Do that what you will. So. That's like a pretty open eh. See what happens if I sing hair. 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 Maybe, maybe that's okay. Let's see what happens if I put that with the good old, the trusty trumpet lips. Exact same about hair, but just change the arm shirt. to ear, still gonna try to stay open, and I'm gonna this time just be mindful of these trumpet lips. Oh. Like a toothless, clawless tiger, like an organ grinder's bear. Sing along like a knight without its armor. Like Samson without his hair. So, and I don't know how this 
is going to sound, because I can only go off my sensations, uh, and I haven't listened back to it because I'm just going to shoot this thing in one take. That felt real good. Definitely felt like I blasted or pushed a little bit. That said, uh, because I, I got the, the sort of suction vacuum effect that you feel when you get a really a hooked up, closed, covered note. And I still thought in my head that I was saying the word hair, but the trumpet lips combined with really trying to say the words and staying on the breath and keeping it moving between, uh, <clears throat> you know, what came right before it ended up with, I think, felt to me like a little closer to E and gave me that same closed or close vacuum sensation. The one that feels very small and very focused in your head and doesn't sound very big, but you know, booms and blossoms and blooms in the hall. Uh, so now I'm just gonna try to keep that, whatever that sensation was. I'm gonna start this over again, finish the phrase, because I know you wanna hear the G flat. And I'm just going to try to maintain everything that allows that note to hit in the way that I just decided that I, I like it out of all those options. That's the one that uh, feels most comfortable to me. If it feels comfortable, it's I got a way better shot at sounding comfortable for the audience. Feels comfortable, feels like a sensation that I can recreate and know how to get to authentically, not just ape it. And... Uh, contributes to, or rather has all the other things that I'm mindful of as I'm singing technique-wise in it, and requires them to all be in place and optimized in order to achieve that. So, whole phrase. But first, a little bit of coffee. Like a toothless, clawless tiger, like an organ grinder's bed. Now you see the difficult, difficult artistic, aesthetic decisions that must be made every day by your humble opera singers.